You know, sometimes I read uh, when reviewers talk about certain actors and they say that they look more comfortable in this movie. And I always say, how can you tell? But watching this, you looked like you were really comfortable, like you were really having a good time. I don't know if it was because Jim Cameron allowed more of a human character come through. Did you feel more comfortable? I think the reason why you see me look more comfortable in this film uh, is, is uh, simply because it's the film that I was meant for. You know, it's like all my life I dreamt about doing a movie like that, to do a James Bond type of a movie that has the, the flavor of a James Bond, that's the old James Bond movies. And um, uh, I feel very comfortable in that element to be able to do all the different things that I had to do uh, and to be directed by someone like Jim Cameron, who is really the top director in the world. And there's no one that can uh, do a movie like that uh, better than him. You know? So it's the respect that I have for his ability of directing and his respect as a friend and all that. So he let me bring, uh, he brought all this stuff out of me, basically. How has your working relationship with him changed since Terminator? I don't think it has changed uh, at all. It is just getting each time even more comfortable. I felt very comfortable with him in the first Terminator movie, but then the second one, it was like, you know, we have never really been separated. It's just an ongoing thing. And then now in the third one, it's the same thing. I know that he's a very demanding man. I like that when someone is demanding because I know from an athletic background, uh, having been involved in bodybuilding for so many years, that if you have a good coach and you have a tough coach that pushes you to the limit, that is when you can achieve the ultimate of, of height. And so, therefore, I look forward to something like that. I look forward to when a director pushes you and lets you do things over again and over again until you get it right, what he thinks is right. And it's a 10, you know, so that's what he does. If someone had told me that you were a good dancer, I would have bet money that they were wrong. Do you know something? I would have bet money too. And I would have said they were wrong. <laughs> but I mean, it's like if you practice anything long enough, you can do it. I mean, I was taking lessons, hours and days and weeks of lessons of, of tango, because I saw this tango uh, with Al Pacino. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I said to myself, if I am not as good as him, then I might as well not even go into this movie and try to do the tango. Because the other one came out just so recently. It's not like a 1940s movie or 50s movie. It was a movie that came out just a year or two ago. So uh, it was called The Scent of a, of a Woman, I think it was called. Uh, um, and uh, it, was, it was so good. It was so stunning, his performance in that, that I felt like I have to do the same thing. And uh, so that's why I took all those lessons. Is it possible? possible for you at this point to even think about what you're doing next or have you already made plans? No, I uh, sometimes there are two movies in a row like just this last year it happened that I did uh, True Lies and then I literally walked from True Lies into Junior which is a movie that mm -hmm. Ivan Reitman just directed and with Emma Thompson and uh, Danny DeVito. Mm -hmm. um, that's a rarity. Uh, I right now look at hundreds of scripts many different ideas, uh, old ideas, new ideas, and I uh, will be making up my mind uh, within the next month or so. It's funny you mentioned James Bond because while I was watching this movie I was thinking about James Bond and I was also thinking, trying to figure out what it is that makes this work better than any action film. You know what I mean? Yeah. We've been so trained as an audience as to what to look for with the special effects and this one works. I mean, it, it's so real. I think what makes this uh, movie work is, is simply that uh, it is not only just an action film, but it has also a human story. It has a story, it has a love uh, story in there, mm -hmm. it has a, a the domestic relationship, they had, it is about a guy that has a struggle of the more he becomes the top secret agent in the world, the better he gets in his job, uh, the more dangerous of obstacles he can attack, the worse his relationship is getting at home. Mm -hmm. He comes home from doing all these spectacular uh, uh, things and uh, risking his life and all this, and he comes home to things, to, uh, 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 to the, ho the, the home 
and he doesn't know what to do at home. Maybe the little thing, he doesn't know what everyone else has to deal with, he cannot deal with that. He does not know how to be honest to his wife. Mm -hmm. He has to lie to her because he has sworn secrecy to the government. So she doesn't really know who he is and what he does. She thinks he's a computer salesman. He thinks that she is this innocent little girl. And I mean, she has tremendous desires for other things that I'm not aware of. So everyone ends up lying to everyone in this movie. That's why we call it, of course, True Lies. You did a great job. Thank you. Hang in there. Appreciate it.